How's it going guys? Today we're going to be working on a 1989 Honda Civic sedan and we're going to be installing the main relay conversion kit from JDI. Uh, first we're going to be doing a little unboxing, see what's in the box. So we're going to be doing this unboxing of the JDI main relay conversion kit. Open this up. What's in here? little safety guide got the main relay here got the kill switch and it comes with a good amount of loom to it that's good sticker it's always nice cool so these are the tools I'm going to be using, 10 millimeter wrench, or you can use a 10 millimeter socket, um, flathead screwdriver, and a pair of dikes to cut off any zip ties you might have. You need a drill gun, and then these step drill bits. I'm going to use these when you go to drill out the hole for this uh, kill switch. And then this here is uh, the main relay. Um, the reason I'm doing this conversion is I don't have any problems with my main relay, but I just don't want any problems with it. Um, JDI actually makes these for a bunch of other type of cars, not just for um, EF. I think they make them for EGs and a whole bunch of Nissans and different type of cars. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be putting this in the description. You guys want to go check them out. Okay, so most main relays are going to be under here on the driver's side by your legs um, this is the main relay here i just have mine wedged in there um, they might be way up there i've never had a stock honda so i don't really know where these are stock but i want to do take this off of there grab your new one just pop it in um, it's gonna be your choice where you want to place this I think I'm just gonna take this bolt off here and just place it right under here like that because um, I don't use my my lever for my hood so I might have to remove that also um, and also you don't have to uh, use this kill switch if you don't want to but you would run it in line here um, for the video's sake, I'm going to put my kill switch on also because I don't want my car stolen. So yeah, let's do that. So now I'm going to take off my lever for my hood, which is a 10 mil. That's a pretty long bolt. Tuck that right back in. I could actually even put it here. I think I might do that. There, I'll loop it around. So I'm just gonna put my main relay here, back in this bolt, instead of putting it up here. Cool, that's in there. 
now I could run my kill switch from here. I want to say this this one here is for the fill pump and the ECU. Put that in there. Actually comes with a good amount of zip ties too. Pretty nice. Comes with a good amount of loom too, so you could basically place this wherever you need it to be. You say it's like four feet long, possibly. So now you just pop one, one end on here. The other end here. And also it's going to be your choice wherever you want to put your kill switch. Um, a lot of people put them like under the dash somewhere around here too. Or even the glove box. I've seen people do that. Uh, some people also run them under the seat. Um, I think I'm going to put mine over here. So my car, so I did this whole uh, Integra. Uh, center console swap and when I got it it already had a hole there drilled someone had a kill switch on there before but um, I think I removed it a good while back so I think I'm just gonna run it there again and that goes back here the little ashtray so I'll put that there so this is the way I'm gonna run my kill switch wiring I'm gonna run it all along this loom here and then I already got another switch wire zip tied up here. So I'll just go and zip tie it up to there too. And then I'm gonna run it all along the center console, all the way back till the ashtray. I'll have to drill out that hole. So let me drill out that hole first and get the right size for that. So now I'm gonna drill out the hole for this. Um, got these step bits. I want to say it's going to be like that three quarter um, hole there. So, do that. Might need to go one size bigger. So I need to go a little bit bigger size. I'm going to finish drilling this out. Now it should just pop in. There it goes. So now that I got that put in there, see it's in there pretty good. I can go reinstall that. So I ran my wiring all the way up here so I know it'll actually reach. So now all you gotta do is plug them back in and pop the ashtray back on. There it is, you have it closed. I can get to it pretty easily. So now after this, I'll route it all up 
and we should be good. So next I'm gonna zip tie the wiring loom like every six or seven inches. Get the first one here. Then I'll do one more over here. Then I can start zip tying it up to that wiring loom I told you guys before. First, I gotta cut these ends off with my dikes. Okay, now I'm gonna snip all of these off. Okay, now I can start tucking in the wiring. Okay, now I can zip tie it up here. Good. Get one more. Okay, this should be about it for the install. Everything secured, looking good. Cool. Okay, so with the switch on the off position, this is what it does. It doesn't let the fuel pump prime. Like I didn't hear no fuel pump or nothing. I'll crank it up. It's not starting. Now with it on the on position, on right there. Here's the fuel pump.
So that's basically it for the JDI main relay conversion kit. Um, good things about this kit is that it comes with the kill switch, so you won't get your car stolen. Um, second, these are way more reliable than these OEM styles here. Um, I've had a lot of problems with these in the past. Um, I want to say this is like the third one on the sedan. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to be posting the link in the description for this part. And they have a whole bunch of other parts too, like um, they have a ghost box, which is like a tracker for your car. Um, but yeah, if you like the install of this and you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.